Hello humans, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are one of my bagel babes. My name is Kelsey, I'm the blogger behind Blondes and Bagels. It's been a hot minute. I got married, we went on our mini moon, and now I'm finally back. So, I wanted to actually jump in today with a really quick and easy gift guide. And I know there's a bunch of gift guides out there right now, everyone is doing them. So I want to keep this really simple. And we have a theme today. The theme of this gift guide is gonna be all about, I don't know the right word, sustainable, green, eco-friendly. These words mean a lot of different things to everyone, so I just want to clarify right off the bat what this means to me. This gift guide, these five items, they will either help encourage you to reduce waste or they were made sustainably and ethically. That, that's what this means. So if you want to hear my five items that make a great sustainable gift this holiday season, keep on watching. Okay, ready to go. I've got all the items laid out in front of me right now. I do own all of these items, so I can definitely recommend them. Number one, I wanted to keep it nice and simple and easy and kind of like a good stocking stuffer item. These are reusable cotton rounds. They're actually not cotton. They are made of like a bamboo fleece. They look like this. They're kind of stained. They literally just came out of the laundry. Um, so they are clean even though they look a little bit stained. These can replace your cotton rounds that you like put your toner on with or remove your makeup with. I love these. This little pack comes with 16 of them. It is under $10. I think it's like $9.99 on Amazon. I'll leave a link for this and every everything down in the description box below for you. Uh, it comes with this little drawstring bag that you can wash them in. And I think it's good for, I don't remember how many washes, a lot of washes. So I can't speak to how these were made and if they were made ethically and sustainably, but what I can say is that they do we just had to kick my cat out. She was making a ruckus. Okay, anyway, I don't even remember what I was saying because my cat distracted me. These make great stocking stuffers. Can't really speak to if they were made ethically and sustainably, but what I can say is that it encourages you to reuse, reduce waste. And because it comes in this drawstring bag, it is safe to wash. So for $10, encourage your friend to remove her makeup sustainably. Oh my God, now we're, we're meowing. Item number two. Okay, the second item I want to talk about is just a reusable water bottle. I know that that is sort of like an easy win. I feel like most people are on this train by now, but I just wanted to recommend a brand that I really love for reusable water bottles and tell you why I really love them. And that would have to be the beaker bottle. So I do have with me, I have a lot of beakers, but I have all three sizes right here to show you. Uh, so I've got the little baby beaker, which is sort of like a standard glass of water. How big are you? The next size up, I th really should have looked that up. The next size up is like a couple glasses of water and then this is like the size of my head. It's kind of a lot. So anyway, I wanted to talk about beaker for a few reasons. One, it's made of glass, which means that you don't get that metallic taste. It is BPA free, safe to put in the dishwasher, all of that good stuff. It also has a silicone like sleeve on the outside, one that kind of allows you to have bottles that are more personal to you. So as you can see, the beaker team actually sent me this one. Um, I've bought a lot of these beakers myself, but they specifically did send me this one as a congrats for getting married. So it says hers, wife, Mrs. Bride. Um, so I've had a lot of fun just kind of like having this one during that phase of my life. Um, I also love them because a lot of them now, you can buy them as kiss kits is what it's called. They make a bomb. It's like a, it's called the water bomb. It's basically like a chapstick except more elevated is what I would say. You can literally put that in your cap so that you always have like a nice bomb with you wherever you go. Cause I know sometimes you drink water then your lips feel dry and it's sort of like this weird cycle. So that prevents that. Um, so anyway, I just, I love these bottles. I think they're cute. They're easy to carry around. I happen to actually think that there's a reason for all three sizes in my life. I leave this one on my desk so I can just kind of chug water, take it to the face. This one is like if I'm traveling and then Usually this little guy is the one that's just in my purse all the time. We actually just came back from watching Cirque du Soleil and I, I had this in my purse and it was just nice to have like a little glass of water when I needed it on the go. Fits in even my smallest of bags. So this one actually, I know most people would think that it's not very useful and it's actually been like the most convenient size out of all of them. The bottles range from like, you know, 20s to up to 40 bucks depending on the size and the artwork. They have some that have like spikes on them and they're really cool looking. So it just depends what you get, but love the beaker, very sustainable. No no plastic water bottles. Okay, these next two items, I'm gonna cheat on a little bit, and it's not really like one item, it's like a category. So number three, 
my theme is Kuyana travel items. So Kuyana, it actually might be the reason why you subscribe to me or watch my channel because I have a couple videos about the Kuyana tote that have not really gone viral, but I feel like I've become known as the Kuyana reviewer because there's not just, there's not really that many people reviewing the brand out there on YouTube, but they are a sustainable, ethical, eco-conscious brand based in San Francisco. So all their designs are done in San Francisco. They do clothing, they do bags. I have a lot of their bags, but they're just made with this really like mindful design approach. So everything, basically there's no trends. Like everything is very capsule wardrobe, very classic, very timeless, well-made. Again, like ethically sourced. Like it's just a good brand to buy from in general because you know that you're not buying something that's gonna go out of trend really quickly and it's not going to fall apart. It's made really well. So I have a couple items to recommend this holiday season. Uh, one would be the makeup cases. I actually have two sets of this. I have it in red. Oh, this one's heavy because it's actually got makeup in it. This is this is my actual like OG set in black. So it comes with two of them, a little baby one and a bigger guy. I'm gonna hold the lighter ones because it's easier to hold. Pinterest actually sent this to me, which I thought was just my heart. So anyway, it comes with two bags. I like to keep brushes in this one or just like daily essentials and toss that in my tote. And then this is just great for travel. Uh, for both of these, it's 120 bucks. You can monogram them. Or if you're a company, obviously you can do custom designs. So this is a great option. I also couldn't talk about Kuyana without talking about the classic structured tote. This is what I'm known for reviewing on YouTube. It's my number one most sold item out of everything. When you guys shop my links, I do make a very small commission. Super helpful to me. So thank you if you ever have shopped my links or if you plan to in this video. But this is literally the item that everyone buys using my links um, from my blog post or my YouTube videos. It's just a great tote. The totes, the small version of this tote is like 155 bucks, I think, and then this one is 195 without the monogram. It just makes a really nice gift. The tote insert, which I think is in this one, yep, is like another 100 bucks or so, so not really that cheap. This is a nicer gift, but I would say that like for a mom or a mother-in-law, this is an amazing gift to give. We actually gave this to my now mother-in-law, I think last year, uh, and she loves it, uses it all the time, so it's a great gift. Another more reasonable gift, so not 200 bucks, but 100 bucks, um, this little mini jewelry case from Kuyana. So this is their small one. It has a little section for earrings, and then it's got this pouch that closes up nice and tight so you don't have to worry about it down here that you put necklaces and bracelets and all that stuff. They do make a bigger jewelry case, but for me with travel, I just don't really take that much jewelry to be honest. I just wanted something that was a little bit more convenient. I plan to monogram this hopefully this week actually before we travel for the holidays because I thought it would be really cute. So I did actually get this. Maybe it was for her birthday. I can't remember why I got this for her. I think it was her birthday, but my best friend, I actually had her name monogrammed on this and gave it to her. And it was just such a nice little gift, like so appreciated, so personal and well-made. Okay. The last Kuyana item I wanted to point out really quickly is this giant weekender bag. If you have a friend that travels all the time, I have another best friend that her job takes her all across the country. She's on a plane like every single week, maybe a couple times a week, I think. And like a nice, just classic looking weekend could honestly be a great gift for someone that travels a ton. Uh, so this guy is on the pricier side. It's just under 300 bucks, I think like 285, but again, really well made, ethically sourced, very timeless. This isn't going out of style. You can have it in 10 years and it'll still be good. So that's my last gift recommendation from Kuyana. Okay, like I said, we're cheating here. <laughs> Number four is another category and another brand. Everlane. I honestly think that you can't go wrong with just getting somebody an Everlane gift card this year. I think most women would really appreciate it. It's a really ethical brand. Again, very transparent. We can have arguments on how transparent they are. I know that there are some people that do have some complaints about maybe them not being the most honest. Again, my whole point of this gift guide is just suggesting brands and items that are just better than going to Forever 21. Anyway, <laughs> there's two items from Everlane that I really highly recommend this year. One is actually the sweater I'm wearing right now. This is the Square Cotton Crew, I believe. It is $68. I have it in, sorry, my nose itches. I actually have it in three colors. I have it in white and gray and black. I wear it every single week. I think last week I was in the office three days and I literally wore this sweater every single day. <laughs> It's very comfortable. It's a little bit oversized. I would size down a size if you're gifting it to somebody. Just very flattering, but still like luxe and timeless. It's a great gift. Okay, and second, if you're not wanting to do the Kuyana tote, how can I not talk about the Everlane Day Market tote? Again, another great classic style. There is a difference between this tote and the Kuyana tote to me. I plan to do a review comparing the two because I get questions about it all the time, but this is a smoother leather. This is smoother. It is, you know, no lining. It's untreated on the inside. It's just very different than the Kuyana one, 
which is pebbled. Um, this one is a little bit more structured. The Kuyana, even the structured version, does get a little bit mushy over time, a little bit more loved. Uh, so this I just think is another option if you want it for a tote. This one is 175. The Kuyana one is 195 without the monogram. It's not a huge price difference. I think just kind of like take your pick. But yeah, another great gift idea. Okay, number five, the last item. We're not cheating anymore. This is one item, and that would have to be the Nespresso. Again, can't really speak to how the machine is made itself, but what I can say is it's been an absolute game changer in terms of the waste I am producing from making a single cup of coffee. I like a latte in the morning. If you follow me on Instagram or the blog, I've posted my latte recipes. I'm obsessed with my morning latte. Um, I have the Nespresso that has the frother with it, so I can make not just like a coffee like I did in my Keurig, but I can actually make like a latte, a cappuccino, a shot of espresso. Like I have more options, but what was bothering me about the Keurig I had was one, I didn't just like plain coffee, but two, I hated the fact that they were these like plastic pods that I would just truly toss in the trash. And I understand that they make single use pods. You can put your grounds in it, but then it's like a mess. It was too much work. So I wanted to call out that the Nespresso is one, way better tasting than the Keurig. So if you have a family member that is still using Keurig, replace it for them and get an Nespresso. And two, it's less wasteful. So the actual pods are aluminum. You can get a recyclable bag from Nespresso. If you order online, they'll mail it to you. If you go into the store, they'll offer you one every single time you go in. You fill that up with pods and you can actually bring it back to your local store for them to recycle or you can actually mail it. It comes with a prepaid mailing label right on the bag. They're not sponsoring me. Nobody has sponsored me for this video. I'm just obsessed with my Nespresso. I use it every single day and I feel so much better about the fact that my pods are getting recycled from the aluminum on the outside of the pod to the actual grounds inside of it being used for fertilizer. So it is a great, great gift. My exact machine. Full price is $250. I found it on sale for you guys, $175. I will put that link down below because that is a major sale. Buy it. It is amazing. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, that's my gift guide. You guys ran through that really quick. I hope gave you some good options. Keep it sustainable. Keep it ethical. Keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? Minimalism. I like to call it conscious consumerism because I definitely like to consume, but I just want to do it in a way that I don't feel that bad about. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, join my family, and happiest of holidays to you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.